Okay, today I have created something called an HTML asset. This is something that allows the game to play a, a specific sound whenever a train goes over a trigger. The sound I created was a station announcement for the New York City subway system. It, it says, ladies and gentlemen, the next Brooklyn bound local train is now arriving. Please stay away from the platform edge, especially when trains are approaching and leaving the station. And I'm going to teach you how to use this HTML asset and how to um, get it set up so that the um, sound will play every time the train approaches the station. There is something you should be aware of, however. This sound is global. That means you can hear it everywhere in the route whenever it triggers. So, it's going to trigger when one train goes over the trigger and then and then if another train triggers it like 10 miles away, you're still going to hear it. So, that's an obvious problem to be aware of. I was trying to fix this problem by creating a special trigger that you put on the track and it would play this sound whenever the train ran over the trigger. And of course, there was a there was a limit to how far it could be heard, and that would have solved this problem except I can't figure out how to script a trigger to get it to um to play the sound whenever the train runs over it. All I know how to do is actually make the trigger. I don't know how to give it a script. Anyway, this is how you get the HTML asset to work. First, um, click on Edit Session Rules. Actually, first you need the triggers that's that, that are going to trigger it. Okay, click on the trigger and put it on the uh, put it on the tracks you want it to uh, you want the sound to occur on. Obviously, all the tracks that lead to a platform, not any of the express tracks. <laughs> you might want it to be further away from that. Obviously, if it's too close, the sound isn't going to finish by the time the train gets to the platform. I'm not really sure how far away it should be, so I'll, I'm just going to put a random distance for this one. Okay, these three tracks lead to a station, so I'm going to need these triggers here, here, and here. I accidentally put multiple down because I was holding the enter button. Okay, obviously I'm not going to remember the names on these triggers, so I'm just going to give them a random name. Okay, now for the other side of the station. This might still be a little too close, though. The obvious problem, of course, is that the sound is going to play every time a train hits it. So, if one train's approaching the station the same time another one is, you're going to hear the sound twice, which um, is going to be problematic. Okay, next you go to Edit Session Rules, click on Add, look for Trigger Check, Trigger Rule is an older version of this. Okay, click Edit. What I'm doing right now is adding the triggers. Add all of the ones you want the um, 
you want the you want to trigger the sound. There's no limit to how many you can add as far as I know. Here you have the option to accept any train that runs over the trigger or for only certain types of trains to go over it. If you click accept trains matching specific criteria, this, men this menu pops up and you can select the types of trains that will trigger it. Whenever that type of train car is on top of the trigger, the sound will trigger. I just want all the subway cars to trigger it, of course, so I'm just going to click accept all trains. Okay, next, uh, what's the next thing I have to do? Oh yeah, I need a rule called Play Sound. So click Add. This rule called Play Sound. As far as I know, it's been here since Train 2004, but I was a kid back then and had no idea how to use this. Okay, click on the right arrow for indent. There's actually, I don't, I don't know why, but this is actually necessary. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. This basically tells the game that this, uh, that, that the um, trigger check rule is a parent's rule of the play sound rule, and they have to work together. And the play sound rule has to be right under the trigger check rule, or it's not going to work. That's also necessary. Okay, in the um, first text where it says play the wave file, here you're, here you're going to um, type announce because the name of the file that this, that this is supposed to play is called announce.wave. Just say the word, just type the word announce. Don't type dot wave or it's not going to work. I'm not sure if it's case sensitive, but just in case it is, everything's in lowercase. Now where it says of HTML asset, look for the HTML asset that uses the sound. I haven't released this yet because I'm still testing it. I'm trying to make sure it's loud enough to be heard over the trains. It's called NYCTA Announce Brooklyn Bound. Rule completes when sound has just started. Sound has finished playing. Those are your two options. I, I, I just use sound has just started. Then again, if I click... I'm not sure, but if I click on sound has finished playing, it's probably not going to play if, if another train triggers it while the sound is playing. So that's probably a better idea. All that's left now to do is to test it. Okay, the first few trains are on their way. Hopefully we'll be able to hear the announcements.
I'm thinking of editing that announcement out of the engine sound and putting it in like a bell system for a horn so that um, the timing problems won't keep appearing. Anyway, the announcements are working, but um, like I said, they're not loud enough. I had to find a way to make them louder.